looks like. I don't care what it feels like. Good evening, everyone. I'm so excited that you have tuned in on tonight. Listen, I'm so excited what God is doing here in this place. Um, I have with me uh, Minister Julius Power and Minister Glenda Hinton. They'll be coming on very briefly just to encourage the body of Christ. Listen, so much been going on in this world and I can't tell it all by myself. Um, so I'm going to allow them to come on tonight just to give a brief word of encouragement that will help us along the way. I'm just so excited on tonight. We're going to pray, ladies and gentlemen, because listen, we're living uh, in some trying times on tonight. And so we're going to touch and agree tonight that, listen, the rest of our life will be the best of our life. Let us pray. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm thankful right now for what you're doing behind the scene. I'm thankful right now, Father God, for what you're doing with your people on tonight. And we pray right now, Father God, for Minister Power. We pray right now for Minister Glenda, Father, that as they come in their own way, Father, coming to encourage the body of Christ, that you be with them and through them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, I'm just so excited, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to sit back tonight and enjoy the word of the Lord coming from these two vessels that are here in Rhema Word Ministries. Well, first, ladies and gentlemen, we will have Minister Julius Power that's going to come. He's so excited. He's already fired up. So I'm excited to have him tonight. We, we again, we want to honor and introduce to some and present to the others Minister Julius Power. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Breakthrough. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Thank you, Lord God, for joy. Thank you for a joyous spirit tonight. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Kindle the fire. Stir up the fire. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Woo! I would like to... <laughs> I would like to encourage someone tonight. Mm. Someone out there tonight mm. is going through a great struggle. Going through a great struggle tonight. Woo! Now I'm here to encourage you. Going through, you may be going through a, a time of, of hardship. It's hard for you to pray. It's hard for you to, to read the word, but I want to encourage you today that you continue to press, keep pressing on. Stay focused, stay focused on God. Keep God first priority in your life. Keep Him first priority. Stay focused and depend on Him. Trust in Him. Believe in Him. Oh, glory to God. But I, I want to tell you that He's there. He's forever present. So, whatever your struggle is, I'm here to tell you that God will fix it. I want to leave with you tonight that Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Joy. Joy cometh in the morning. So keep, stay focused on joy cometh in the morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, to we thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us, the Lord, to come before you. Thank you, Lord God, for 
the strength, that, Lord, you have given us. Thank you for the words of encouragement, Lord God, that has went forth in the righteous and holy name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord God, and we will continue, Lord God, to trust in you and believe in you. In the righteous and holy name of Jesus, we thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Wow, it's a powerful word, man, ladies and gentlemen. We're so glad because all of us need encouragement. All of us going through some stuff in life. We feel like, you know, God is not there, that we can't feel him like we used to. And so I'm glad that God put that on his heart and his spirit to encourage us. Because sometimes we can go through the vicissitudes of life and we feel like, you know, God is not even there. I mean, we're praying, we're studying, and we feel like God isn't there in our lives. So I thank God for Minister Power just for even bringing that up. Because some people in the body of Christ, we've, we've gone through that, but we're not honest. We come to church with our church face on, or we log on Facebook with our Facebook on, face on. And truth of the matter is, some of us feel that same way. But I'm, I'm glad tonight we're praying for you. Because guess what? God is on the other end of your going through. I'm going to say it again. God is on the other end of your going through. Matter of fact, he's on this end of your going through. And on the other end of your going through. So like he said, don't quit. Don't, don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. He did say weeping endures for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Well, next, um, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to have finally um, tonight, um, Minister Galinda Hinton. Um, she's over our youth department. I'm glad to have her uh, working with us and serving with us. So I'm so excited about the word of God that God has placed in her spirit for tonight. So without further ado, we're going to introduce the song and present to others. Minister Glenda Hinton. Amen. Good evening, good evening. My name is Minister Glenda Hinton, and I am so excited to be here with you today. Um, today, I want to share with you a scripture on faith. But first, let's pray. Our Father, oh God, we thank you. We glorify you. We give you honor for everything you have done for us and everything that you're doing, everything that you're going to do. We thank you for how you just watch us and guide us. And God, I just ask you in the name of Jesus that it, you let it all be you, not of me. In Jesus' name, amen. So uh, today, uh, we, like I said, we're going to do, um, we're gonna, I'm going to share a little about faith. And I'm going to come from uh, Hebrew 11 and 1. That's Hebrew 11 and 1. And it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So starting, we're gonna, I'm going to explain it to you. Let's talk about Hebrew 11. When we talk about now, faith, now is immediately, right this moment, right now, not tomorrow, not tonight, not in the morning, but it's right now. And then when we go to the next word, now faith is, faith is believing, trusting, and having confidence. So we know now faith is the substance. And when we get to substance, substance is a lot of stuff. It, we all go through a lot of different stuff. So we are, it's, it's now faith is the substance of things hoped for. When we hope, we expect something. When we expect something, we're expecting it from God. We're expecting uh, what God promised to us. And as we go on, it said now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, the evidence, the proof. We have proof. We have proof through uh, our ancestors. We have proof through our grandmothers and, and grandfathers, through different people that we have proof that God will do what he said he would do. So the Hebrew 11, 
and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Not seen. Can't see it. What the results are, you can't see what the results are. But knowing and trusting that God is going to work it out. That he's going to do what he said he's going to do. But we immediately, immediately need to put faith to work. Remember the first word in Hebrew 11 and 1 say now. So that means we immediately have to put it to work when we're going through different things. Not wait. Put it to work right then even when you don't see it. Even when you don't know what's going to happen, you still have to put it to work. Reading more Hebrew 11, it really talks about a lot of different things that went on in the Bible to show us that like Abraham moved from one land to another. He did it because God told him to do it. He had to have faith and believe that God was going to take care of him to go to the other land. Also, he offered his son up. Isaac, remember that? He had to believe and trust God to, to, to be able to offer his son. And everything worked out because he had faith and believing in God. Noah built the boat. Everybody laughed. <laughs> Everybody was laughing. Noah could not see it. He couldn't see the results. But believing and trusting God, he did what God told him to do. Jesus is a good example of faith. He knew that his father God was going to take care of him when he died on the cross for us. So he had faith also. The woman with the issue of blood, she didn't know what was going to happen. She just took off with faith. She took off immediately with it. She didn't wait. She didn't say, oh, well, let me wait and see if he's going to come back by or anything. He, she didn't know what was going to happen. She immediately took off with faith. So we cannot wait. We cannot wait to trust him. Don't wait to trust him tomorrow about your situation. You need to trust him today. You need to trust him right now. We all have some stuff we are praying about because if you remember when we went up to now faith is the substance substance means a lot of stuff so we know that there's a lot of stuff that goes on in our life a lot of things that we don't understand a lot of things that we don't know what to do but that's the time that we have to immediately even though when we don't see it we have to immediately call on God and pray and ask him to help us and he will give us faith and he only asked for a mustard seed it's only little it's small it's small even if you don't know how just say God help us help me help me to have more faith in you we have to ask him we have to talk to him like I'm talking to you right now we have to talk to him like we see in him every day, like we sleep with him, like we wake up with him, like we go back to bed with him, like we walk with him, like we talk with him. That's how he going to know. And, and that's how you also going to know how to trust him, how to have faith and believe that he's got your back. Faith is a part of staying connected to God. The, the tools that we can use to get to the next level of faith is trusting and believing in God. Things, things that we can't see but know is working is evidence, proof. I gave you some of it. Abraham, Noah, even myself. Even when I'm at home and I see my grandbaby, he wants to walk but Right now, he has to trust someone to hold his hand. And he'll put his hand out to, Grandmama, I need you to help me. I, I need you. I, I, I trust that you're going to hold me up. And that's how God wants us to do. He wants us to be like little children and come to him and let him know that we, we trust him. Things we have faith in. 
a chair. We sit in a chair. We have so much faith in that chair that when we sit down in it, it's going to hold us up. We don't know if it's going to fall, but we got enough faith to believe that it's holding us up. The door. We don't know if the hinge is going to come off the door, but we got enough faith in that to believe that it's not going to come loose while we open the door. The bed. We lay in the bed. We got enough faith that that bed is not going to break. The car. We get in the car. We crank the car up. And we have faith that that, ca that car is going to take us to point A to point B and back. We have faith in all of that. Why can't we have that much faith in God? Why can't we let him know that, that we believe and trust in him? That he's going to make a way. Why can't we trust God through the things that we face every day? The pandemic, family situations, jobs, children, finances. Why can't we believe God can see us through difficult times when we can't see our way? Even though a couple of days has gone by, a month has passed by, and you don't see results. Remember, God is still working it out. That's what Hebrew 11 and 1 say. You gotta have faith and believe that he's working it out. I challenge you today to trust and believe that your now faith will work when you get your mind to work by putting confidence in God. Don't fake it. Faith it till you make it. Don't fake it. Faith it. Faith it till you make it. God is there for you. He's watching over you, guiding you. He wants you to come to him. Go to him. Come on. You can do it. We can do it. Thank you for listening to the word of encouragement on faith. May God continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, what a powerful word on faith. Yes, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Like she said, the stuff that you are hoping for. A lot of us in the body of Christ, we're hoping for some stuff. But the bad part about it is the evidence of things not seen. So many of us, like she said, we're frustrated because we're hoping for some stuff. We don't even see the evidence. And some of you are hoping for a healing, but you don't even have the evidence that you're healed. You're hoping that God will fix the marriage, but you don't see the evidence that the marriage is fixed. You're hoping that God will give you that job, but you don't even have the evidence that you'll get hired. But you have to, like she said, faith it, not fake it but faith it. Put your faith in action. We're an apostle now. Now faith. So we thank God for the beautiful, encouraging words from the both of them. My prayer is that we keep these words in the cabinets of our hearts, that we may utilize them day by day. Well, listen, we're going to pray right quick for those of you who are still online. Let us pray, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for those who are tuning in. We thank you for those who are watching uh, both near and far. And we pray right now, Father God, as minister power, encourage the body of Christ to stay with God. Don't lose the fight. Keep on trying. Keep on pushing. Because weeping is only temporary, but joy is coming in the morning. And we pray right now as the word that minister Glenda gave, that we would keep up our faith. And we pray right now, Father God, even we don't even see the evidence, we are trusting you, Father. When? We are going to do it now, Father. And we pray right now for those who are losing hope, those who are about to give up. We pray that this word have encouraged them and will encourage those who are about to log on. And we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, I'm so excited this Sunday. We'll have our parking lot service. You do not want to miss it. This Sunday at 11 o'clock, we will be on the grounds of Raymond Word Ministries. 
Come as you are. Come casual. Listen, sit on your, your hood of your car, inside of your car. We are so excited to have you in the body of Christ. It's been a while, but I cannot wait. There's a word from the Lord. Listen, there's a worship from the Lord. I cannot wait to this Sunday. Listen, the table is already spread and the feast of the Lord is ready. So don't forget this Sunday at 11 o'clock, we will have service outside on the parking lot. Listen, those of you who are still watching, if you want to be a blessing to Rhema Word Ministries, the ways to give is on the screen. If you want to give by way of cash app, you want to mail it in, or you want to go on our um, on website, rhemaword.net, you can give there. And ladies and gentlemen, listen, God will make sure that your harvest return bigger than your seed. Well, until then, we'll see you on next week. God bless you. I don't care what it feels like